Okay, consider the function sine x plus pi over nine. Now, I would solve this problem, I'll solve it two ways, graphically and algebraically, but I think graphically is the, the smarter way to do it because this is just a shift. You know what sine x is, and that pi over nine shifts it to the, to the left, pi over nine. So if I look at sine, like that, ugly sine, I see that this is pi, and this is two pi, and then if I take um, a new function, the exact same function, sine x, and shift it pi over 9 to the right, it's the exact same function, just shifted a little bit to the, to the left, sorry. So that spot right there, if I shifted it from pi over pi over 9, that would be pi over 8. So this is pi over 8. So that would be the graphical way. That would be, the, I think, the smart way. And then the algebraic way, we can go sine x plus pi over 9 equals 0. Sine x plus pi over 9 equals, and I like, I don't, I like to create a sine out of 0, so sine of pi. And then I can get rid of the sines take sine inverse of both sides, and I'm left with that, and then x equals pi minus pi over 9, x equals 9 pi over 9 minus 1 pi over 9 is 8 pi over 9. That's the algebra way. And then, move this over here, we can take that exact same technique for the, one, for the negative 1 half, so I'll do that, so we say sine x plus pi over 9 equals negative 1 half sine x plus pi over 9 equals, okay, sine is negative 1 half. So our unit circle up here, when is sine negative 1 half? It's right here and right here, which is, let's see, that's pi over 6 plus pi, so that's 7 pi over 6, sine of 7 pi over 6. So then x, get rid of the signs, x plus pi over 9 equals 7 pi over 6. And then x equals 7 pi over 6 minus pi over 9. And I don't feel like doing that math right now. And then sine of x plus pi over 9 equals sine of, and then this one, that's 5 pi over 6 plus pi, so 5 pi over 6 plus pi, 6 pi over 6 is 11 pi, 11 pi over 6. And then we do the same thing, x plus pi over 9 equals 11 pi over 6, and then subtract pi over 9, same technique. 